Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. Today we're going to talk about oats. Yes folks, we're going to sow your oats. We're going to do an oat harvest end to end. We're going to deal with preparation of the field, we're going to cultivate, we're going to lime, we're going to fertilise, we're going to roll and then we're going to plant. Once we've planted, we're then going to nurture that field a bit more till we get to this stage where we start sowing our oats. Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. Today we're going to talk about oats as I mentioned. So what we're doing with this field is that we have cultivated this field. And it's a large old field. We are then going to add some lime to condition and change the acid balance of the soil. Once we've done that we're going to apply some fertilizer, solid fertilizer, with our fertilizer spreader. Once we've done that, we're going to apply another load of lime. And then once we've done that, even more fertilizer. And then, only then, am I going to plant. But I've also got some bees in situ as well. Yes, folks, it's time to go shopping. The farmer's most favorite place. It's the B&Q of the farming world. Yes, folks, it's Clever Motors and you can buy all your machinery here. We're in the market for some oat harvesting devices, so we particularly want a planter. Now, for planters, I've got a large old field, so I'm going to go for the Amazon, right? It's a nice one. It's perhaps the most expensive one I can see here at the moment. I need a sizable tractor by which to tow it as well. Now, it does see the little icon for oat is going to be there along with other sort of like grain like substances. Here's my JCB tractor. That's what I'm going to be using to tow the Amazon Citroen planter. I've got a front weight on it as well. Now if we look at the objects we need some big bad pallets. We need a couple of boxes of seeds even though really I mean two of these boxes will probably do us to fill up this particular planter or seeder. So yes We'll buy some because we've got some other seeding to do in other machinery. Back into the car park, you can see we've got six. We're starting to fill up the oats into the hopper of the Amazon seeder right now. And you can see I've got my back wheels virtually aligned. It'll say R to refill or refill device. We filled it up with 1,600 litres of oat seed or just seed. Now you can see my roller is still rolling off this field. We're going to position our JCB and our cedar ready to start sowing our oats. And you can see it unfurling now to its impressive width. It really is an impressive piece of shiny machinery. So I'm going to line up on the side of this particular field. We're all ready to go. And once we're all lined up, it's time to hire an AI worker because I've got other work to do elsewhere. You can see that I'm 100% fertilized, so that's been two layers of lime, two layers of fertilization gone on there, and I use solid fertilizer. And you can see I've got a bit of rollering going on over there as well for certain parts. But typically, I'll have to re roller this field once I have started to plant. Okay, so we're going to select oats from our menu, and it's set to wheat. There we go, oats, you can see the icon has changed at the bottom. H to engage an AI worker, and away we go. We are now sowing our oats on that particular field, and he'll go back and forward, back and forth, no problem at time, and that field will then be sown with oat seeds. As easy as that, really. Once this done, we'll have to give it um, a mild weeding and a rolling. So without planted, you can see we've now got some more work to do. We've got a good yield bonus of 98% and we're fertilized to 100 and there's our little weeder going back and forth, dealing with the weeds that have come present. Once that weeding's been done, it's time to get the roller out. And I've gone for a slightly bigger roller this time. Now, this roller is going to stamp all the ground down and it's going to give us a good cultivated bed by which to produce our crop. As you can see, it says in the field info, needs rolling. All right, so with all that done now, I'm quite satisfied that we're gonna get a decent crop out of here. All we gotta do now is rate for the right time by which to harvest. So as we can, planting season for oats is in the March, April time. Okay, it's, it's very early. 
So March to April. But then you've only got two months then before it's harvest time in the July. So quite a short harvest planting to harvest season, which makes this a really good crop to do if you want to try and get money quickly. Um, especially at the beginning part. And you can see where the, the prices fluctuate. So, okay, they're really at their lowest in the summer, but then you wait towards December time and you can start making some serious money. So, as we can see, the cereal factory is 1,310 and some of the other areas, even the farmer's market, is slightly higher. But you know, you wait a little bit later on in the year, towards December, and you can make some serious money on your harvest. So, just got to wait now for harvest season. So with it now being firmly in July, it's time to get field 56. It's a sizable old field, by no means the biggest, but it's a sizable field ready to be harvested. You can see it's in that lovely golden yellow colour. Now, we're going to have to get ourselves back to the shop again and get ourselves a grain harvester. Now, I've got a few other harvesters. I'm going to go for a big old harvester this time. Um, probably the class. Uh, Tryon 750 to 720. 357,500 pounds. You can see it takes all the grains to be harvested. Nice old big engine, and it's got a lovely capacity on it as well. So even some of the ones, the fence, they're quite good. But we want one with a nice big capacity so that we don't run out of room and we can get like a field done virtually in one go. So that's the one for me. I think it's, it's going to be a, a nice old one. Perhaps we'll go for one with the, the tracks on it. It's got 18,000 litre capacity. That should be more than ample for that field as well. So we can customize that slightly with um, wider tires on the back. That's basically all you can do. So we're going to buy that. Oh yes, it is ours. So with that bought, that's going to be in the car park. Uh, quite looking forward to that as well, like the big old machines. Next up, we're going to need a good old header for this. And for these headers, we need a typical, what you call a traditional sort of like corn header. I'm going to go for the John Deere or probably the class, really. It's got a 5.2 metre width, the, uh, the John Deere might be a bit too big. So we'll go for the class one at 13.2 metres. That's going to be in the car park waiting for us to pick up. As you can see, a little bit of manoeuvring. It's getting quite um, cluttered in that car park. I must have a clear out. Can I line up our combine to the header? And as we've only really got to go across the road from the shop to this particular field, it's not going to be too much of a, an ache to get there. We're not going to need a, a loader. We'll just go across the road, hopefully not hit any cars or trees or other landscaping, and away we go. So, there's our combine header. And all we've got to do now is very carefully manoeuvre out of the shop car park, straight across the road, not hitting that tree, back a bit straight across the road not hitting any oncoming traffic or lampposts or anything like that line ourselves up and start the harvest so here we are on the left hand side turn it around a bit let's just get lined up and then once we're all lined up we're just going to hire an AI worker to do this because I mean, you can do it yourself, but why not give jobs to others? That's what I say. But as you can see, our field, we've got a 93 to 98% yield bonus, totally fertilized, and our oat is ready to harvest. So, time to get harvesting. It's going to take a little while. Uh, the harvester's there doing its funky thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a minute and take a look at how far it's gone in a certain period of time. So we're about halfway through our oat harvest in Farming Submitter 22 and we've got a massive old trailer that we're going to try and line up just by that beehive now to uh, decanter or unload all the oat out of this combine. Now the combine, it's not full yet, you know, but we don't want to get to the point where we stop production. So we're going to keep edging forward just so the pipe comes out and fills our trailer. Now it's a big old trailer this, 
lots of capacity. Claw that oat or in the back of that trailer. Now, what I'm going to do is do it in two phases. I'm not going to fill the whole trailer. It's pointless going off to the shop or to a grain silo with this. So I'm going to park it up on the right hand side out of the way. And then when the harvester has done a bit more of its harvesting, we're going to decanter some more and then take it off to a place to be sold. So look at that. I have got 30,000 281 litres or 71% of the capacity of this trailer. I'm taking it off to the cereal factory. Now this was the whole wheat field, uh, oat field, sorry, the whole oat field. So let's see how much we get at the current price. So here we go. Let's unload and there goes all my oat. Now it's a bit tricky to get into this area, I have to say. Well getting in is not so bad. Getting this trailer and this particular tractor out is a bit heavy. You know, you've got to do a bit of maneuvering. And there you go, I've got just under 40,000, 39,497 pounds for that field in out at the cereal factory. Now, as I mentioned, I could have got a lot more money because I could have put it into my silo and waited until December. I just chose to go and, for the purpose of this video, sell it straight away. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this video on how to sow your oats, nurture your fields, do the harvest, what equipment you need to harvest oats, and then how to go and sell your bounty, your bounty for your oat harvest in one of the stores or factories. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it. See you soon. Look out for more videos in the series. Take care.